Hey guys, happy Monday. This is the start of our fourth week, I believe it is. And so we'll start off with this clean complex. We'll go three positions from the high hang, uh, from the knee and then from the floor. We wanna receive all these cleans in a squat position, all right? We wanna go every 90 seconds for 10 rounds. So you guys get plenty of opportunity to practice. So I'd suggest that you guys go up if the form and technique is impeccable, right? Always earn the right to add weight. And so the way that it'll look is this. You guys can establish your hang. So just get the back set, deadlift the bar, slight bend at the knee, it's blow from this position to your squat, come back, push the hips back, stop knee, eyes forward. From here. And then now I'll come from the floor. Just like that. High hang, power position, load it from the floor every 90 seconds for 10 rounds. Guys, put some good weight, keep the form great, go for it, have fun. All right guys, so we made it to our conditioning component to Monday and this will be nasty girls. So three rounds, 50 body weight air squats. It'll be seven ring muscle ups and then it'll be 10 hang power cleans at 135.95. It's a pretty aggressive workout. We have a 15 minute time cap, all right? And so body weight, the air squats, we'll just simply get our feet shoulder width apart, hip travel back. We wanna go down with this nice tall chest. 50 of those, the reps, full depth, open up at the top until we get to 50. I know, I'm really, really fast. And then we'll go to the ring muscle ups. And so guys, get with the coach on duty and they'll have uh, an appropriate scope for you guys, whether you wanna go a bar muscle up, um, a banded muscle up on the rings, muscle up transitions, things like that. We are all amazing at giving you guys exactly what you need to kind of get through the workout. But the ring muscle up, we just kind of want to start, um, obviously underneath the rings. And it's just like one swing, to, to support, nice lockout, and we wanna link those together. And we got seven of those. And so, uh, just so we can do it, so I can make sure I can still do a ring muscle up. We'll jump up. And we'll go seven of those. And once we get done with seven, we'll go 10 hang power cleans. So, two different strategies. We just reinforced this power position yesterday. So we can always go here, quickest, most efficient way. Keep the chest nice and tall. Bounce it there. Or you guys can load it, push it back, stop at the knee. Come here, load it, and explode. So if the weight's challenging for you guys, that push back at the knee, it's gonna make your hamstrings like rubber bands, give you more power, put you in a better position to execute the lift. If you're really strong and experienced, this nice tall chest, boom, kind of bounce it. That'll be your best strategy. Again, three rounds, 50 air squats, seven ring muscle ups, 10 hang power cleans, rinse and repeat, 15 minute time cap, have fun with this, go get it. All right guys, so for our finisher today, we got some ring swings um, and the numbers will be specified on Wattify. The important thing with this ring swing, we really wanna think about it as an upper back stretch. Uh, we really don't wanna think about just kinda of like the full expression of it because our lower half starts to take over and do a mind of its own where like the knees become bent and things like that. And so we wanna stay nice and long and really feel that stretch or the restriction in the lower back because over time we really want that to be big and loose, all right? And so we wanted to do that. And then we'll go into some skin to catch. So you'll grab a ring. I like to use the rings that are just slightly outside of my touch. So my feet have no chance of reaching the ground. Um, again, if my feet has no chance of reaching the ground, I can be nice, long and expressive through the swing. And then that'll kind of set me up for uh, better progressions throughout my ring journey. All right. And so just kind of grab it with a neutral grip. Nice. Swings here. Mm -hmm. 
big and expressive, keeping that body nice and tight. And so once you guys get done with that, you guys take the same set of rings and then do some skin to cats. Um, we can always do skin to cats on the lower rings if you have some sort of apprehension with like height and being upside down, or we can just go a German hang, which is just like the first half of the skin to cat without coming back, all right? And so I'll do my best to kind of talk through this very, very challenging yet beneficial movement. So come here, flip up, come all the way down. That'll be your German hang. And then that'll be your skin to cat. All right, so again, if you guys make it to the German hang and just wanna let go, your feet should be looking directly at the ground. It should be a simple, easy land for you guys. And so you go ahead and do that, shake it out, do that, rinse and repeat that, or um, force yourself back over. And then that's where the skin and cat comes in at. All right, guys, so this is the finisher, again, for quality. So have fun, take care.